Hey everyone, David. <laughs> I'm, I'm redoing my video. Uh, so, I'm going to jump right to it. I want to know how many Republicans actually, actually grew up in the black communities. Actually was around all this stuff. Because if you haven't been around it, how can you speak on it? I grew up in a black community. I was surrounded by all this stuff being taught in schools, all these teachers pulling some of this stupid stuff, making everything about race. This stuff's been going on in the lower end school systems for God knows how long. Who knows how long it's been going on? I know I remember it when I was little. So this has been engraved into these it's been engraved into the low end communities for years. This has been engraved into the low end communities for years. So how are you going to reach them? You're not. See, I grew up in these communities. I know what the hell they've been taught, what they've been led to believe. And I know how they're looking at our cops. You got to understand, when the cops come down in there, they're not seeing law and order. They're not seeing any of this stuff like that. You, you're seeing it with critical race theory. I mean, critical race theory, all they did is make white people apologize and make it public. And that's really the only difference. That's what critical race theory is. It's been being taught in schools for years. But because they've made people apologize for being white and made it public, it's, you know, it's what it is. It's what they've been doing. And you got, you got to understand that before you can address anything going on in these communities. See, I want to reach out across all communities. I have an idea. It's a bit extreme, and only I think only Trump would be willing to do it. But I want to sit down with people, and I'm going to use the black community as an example because I know that community much better than anything else. I want to sit down with Black Panthers and, you know, Crips and Blood and stuff like that. But on the other side of the table, I want to have Alveda King and Brandon Tatum and Larry Elder and Candace Owens. So... I want to have both sides of the spectrum and I want to sit down in a room. I want to negotiate something out to where we can maybe bring some form of possibly a community policing in cooperation with the police department. Kind of like what the Red Berets did back in the day. Uh, you had to look them up. I was thinking it was either New York or it's Manhattan, one of the two. But they used to secure the subways for the police uh, for the police officers. They worked with the police. Now, did everything go perfect? And could there be stuff improved? Of course, there can. That can that, that can always be done. But do I think that's the method of how we're going to have to address what's going on in some of these communities? That's where you got to ask yourself that. So whenever I run into politics and whenever I can get the funding and all that stuff and all that and I can run and I can get into politics and I get up there, this is the kind of stuff I'm going to do. I'm willing to push the limit to get through to these communities. Are any of the other Republicans willing to cross these lines? Because if you're not willing to cross these lines, something's ever going to change and never going to get better. Will I ever go with defund the police? Not in a million years. I will always back the blue. I will always stand with the blue. And that's never going to change. But is there a way we can work with these communities and work with these groups to reduce the police presidents and have them work in cooperation so we can reach these communities. That is an option I'm willing to explore. That is an option I'm willing to go down. Do I want to sink more money into these school systems? Of course I do. Do I want to change do I want to work on some of the curriculum and stuff? Yes. Yes, because what's being taught is wrong. 
What's being taught's wrong. There's a guy, a uh, boy in a band. He's a YouTuber. He did his song, Don't Stay in School. And like he pointed out, why are y'all not being taught the Constitution? Why are you not being taught 30 basic human rights? Why, wh where did civics go? Why are you not being taught everything you should be taught to actually get out here and live? Why are you not being taught how to fill out checkbooks and stuff like that? Why are you not being taught all this stuff that you actually need? So, yeah, so stuff will have to change. But this goes to the Republicans. How are you not willing to sit down and go out and writ, you know, reach out across the aisle and do this kind of stuff? This is what a Republican was supposed to be. These are the people that fought for freeing the slaves. If you're not willing to reach across the aisle and try to find some kind of neutral ground, why are you running? All you're doing is bringing the same generic Republican stuff. I'm sick of this class warfare where one side taxes the rich, the other side taxes the poor, and blah, blah, blah. I'm sick of all that. I'm sick of all this Republican and Democrat. Am I Republican? Yes. Do I stand with the Republican? Yes. Do I stand with them for any of their causes? Not all of them. Not all of them. I don't want to do class warfare. I want to have, I want to even have the playing field. Let's, let's put Walmart on the same level as someone like a, easy enough to put it, would be the Ten Horn Flats. Let's give Ten Horn Flats a chance to actually fight Walmart. Let's throw them in the ring together on a fair playing field. Let's throw Ten Horn Flats and get McDonald's on a fair playing field. But you don't want to talk that way. You cater to one side or you cater to the other. This is not the path forward. This is not the path forward. This is not what it means to stand up and fight for your country. You're separating everything either by class, by which freaking party you're voting for or race or any of this stuff. You're trying to separate everything. So the Republican Party needs to start taking a look at herself. I stand firmly with Trump. Trump reached across both sides of the aisle. Trump fought on both sides of the aisle. So I stand firmly with him. I'll never not be a Trump supporter. He reached across the aisle. He went the extent. He did things that none of the others were willing to do. If you ain't willing to do that, you should step out. You should back down. If you ain't going to get something done and bring something to the table, then neither side should have candidates running. I don't care what side you're on. You should be fighting for the American people. What are you doing? What are you doing? You need to start looking at the American people and talking to them. Maybe get out there, live out there and see and talk and be around people. You better hope to God I never get the money to run. Because if I ever get the money to run and throw my hat in the ring, I don't care what side you're on. I'm going to win. You have no idea what the hell you've pissed off. Because I fight for both sides. And I believe in both sides. How are we going to reach these communities if you ain't lived in them? I have. 
I have. Republicans need to start growing a pair. Democrats need to stop acting stupid. Let's find a freaking common ground. Let's get some stuff done. 